Hello everyone, welcome to hands-on SD10 coding tutorial. Session 18, code first and use additional code. First, an overview of this session. In session 18, I will talk about what are code first and use additional code. And then I will give you some examples for code first and then some examples for use additional code. So what are code first and use additional code? Let's go to the uh, uh, IC10CM manual. So I, under the table of contents, there's one section talk about the uh, instructional notations. So here there's a one, uh, one section for the code first and use additional codes. So you can read by yourself. You can pause the video to uh, read this section to understand what are code first and use additional code. So, but here I will just uh, give you an example to explain what this uh, section, uh, those two uh, nodes mean. So this manif manifestation code, for example, heart failure, unspecified I50.9. That's what patients uh, display, what the patient problem is. And then usually under this uh, manifestation code, you have code first to remind you to code etiology code. For example, I09.81, rheumatic heart failure. So that's the heart failure caused by rheumatic fever. And then under the underlying etiology code I09.81, there's usually a use additional code note to remind you to code the manifestation code. So what type of heart failure the patient has. So let's go to the coding book to see what it, all this means. So the manifestation code is I50.9. So we get this code and go to the uh, book. And under code itself, there's no uh, code first note. So you have to go to the parent code here, heart failure. So and there you can see uh, code first, the cause for the uh, heart failure. So either by um, abortion or following a procedure or hypertension or rheumatic fever. So in this example, I'll give you the um, etiology code rheumatic heart failure. So I0981, you can click that. So go to uh, this code here. So under this uh, etiology code, rheumatic heart failure. So it will remind you you use additional code to code the uh, type of heart failure. So this um, the rheumatic heart failure is, is the heart failure caused by rheumatic fever. That's the etiology adi code. So under etiology adi code, you have the uh, reference to the um, manifestation code, so I50. So they refer to each other. So under I50, the manifestation code you have the code first for the uh, remind you to code the uh, etiology code let's go back to slide so in general the uh, manifestation code and the underlying etiology code they refer to each other so but how many code first and the use additional code notes in the uh, 2019 version so we have a total of 304 code first nodes. And then we have 756 use additional code nodes. So next I would give, just give you uh, some examples for code first. So please uh, follow the, uh, please open your ICD 10 CM book manual to follow along. So uh, th there are four examples. So 
The first example is J91.0. Malignant pleural effusion. Let's go to the coding book. Go to search. J91.0. Malignant pleural effusion. So let's go to the book here. So under this uh, code, you have a code first node, code underlying neoplasm. So in this case, uh, you code uh, this is caused by uh, lung cancer. The, the uh, underlying the etiologic code is uh, C34.90. C34.90. So this is the malignant neoplasm of unspecified part of uh, unspecified blunkers or lung. So let's go to the second example here. The manifestation code is D63.1. Anemia in chronic kidney disease. Let's see the notes. Here it tells you to code first the underlying chronic kidney disease, so which is uh, N18. So it could be uh, stage 1, N18.1, up to stage 5, N18.5, or N stage renal disease. That's the uh, etiology code. So next example is the D. 60 uh, E08.40 Diabetes mellitus due to underlying condition with diabetic neuro neuropathy unspecified. So let's go to the book here. Expand the nose. There's no uh, coding nodes here, and then you can go to the parent code. Here it tells you to code first the uh, underlying condition, such as, um, you know, uh, in our example here, the underlying condition is uh, Cushing's syndrome, E24. Here, so you have to code one of this uh, Cushing's syndrome. That's the ideological code. So the third example, the final example here is the uh, G twenty twenty one dot two. Secondary secondary uh, Parkinsonism due to other external agents. So let's see the uh, coding notes here. So it tells you that you have to code first the uh, uh, T fifty one to T sixty five to identify external agent. So you can uh, go to this whole uh, section. So you have the code one of the uh, code from T51 to T65. So in our example, uh, we actually coding uh, T51.1 X4. So here. So our example is this code here. Initially encounter a toxic effect of uh, methanol undetermined. Okay, we have uh, gone through three, uh, four, four examples for code first. So next, I will give you another four examples for use additional code. So those are the uh, those are usually the etiology code, and then you have to. You know, use additional code to specify more information about this code. The first example is C50. So this is malignant neoplasm breast of breast. So under here, you have to uh, use additional code to code to identify estrogen receptor status, for example, Z17.0, 
0.0 or Z17.1. So E017.0 is still for the uh, positive status. So the second example, G31.83. They measure with Louis bodies. So the measure with Louis body, let's explain. Uh, if you you can Google it to find out what it means. Louis body dementia, also known as dementia with Louis bodies, is the second most common type of uh, progressive dementia after Alzheimer's disease dementia. Protein deposits called Louis bodies develop in new nerve cells in the brain regions involving in thinking, involved in thinking, memory, and movement, motor control. So in this case here, the code, let's go to the book. Let's see the uh, notes here. There's no uh, coding notes under this code itself. Let's go to the parent here. So it tells you to use additional code to code uh, whether the dementia has the behavioral disturbance or doesn't have the behavioral di uh, disturbance. So you have to code either F02.81 or .80. So this is the code you have to um, use the additional information you have to specify. Third example here, E11.22. So for this code is type two diabetes with diabetic uh, chronic kidney disease, you have to use additional code to code the uh, stage of uh, chronic kidney disease. Again, either stage one to stage five or end stage. So the final example here is the uh, J32. chronic uh, sinusitis. So in this case, you have to use additional code to code the, um, for example, the code uh, tobacco dependency, F17, or the uh, tobacco use. So this is like, you have to use some more if, um, information about the uh, uh, condition. So again, we finished the example for the uh, four examples for use additional code. So finally, I just uh, give you a reminder of the uh, for the instructional notes. So you have to look for the instructional notes in uh, uh, first in the code itself. If you don't find it, you have to go to the parent code to uh, look for the. Uh, instructional notes. If you don't find it in parent code, you have to go to the parent of the parent code, which is the grandparent code. So you have to continue until you reach the uh, code category code. The category code. The category is the three digit code. Uh, if you can't find uh, notes there, then uh, basically you can say, you know, I've done all the work. Um, so again, uh, this in this section, we talk about code first and the used additional code. So this is give you uh, the, um, it's uh, important to determine the, um, the coding sequence. So you have to put the uh, code first code, which is the um, ideology code at the first code, the primary code. And then you, the additional, use additional code, those code are the codes, um, the second code or third code. So again, thank you for watching. Um, see you next time.